Hmm. Wait for the generator looking device at the entrance and step inside the building. Beyond the automatic doors is the lobby. It was once a reception area for the office full of citizens. Sunlight is coming through the roof and cracked windows, but the lobby is still pretty dim after all. Overall. What? There's no power in here? I was hoping for some AC. Even if the air conditioning worked, it'd be pointless with all these cracked windows. Generating all my doors must have been powered separately, unless the AC aren't working. Yeah. And it's cool in here with all the dim light. Isn't this nice, you will? Right. Yes, I burned too much fat just to get it. <laughs> Why does she look so angry about that? <laughs> Alright, so about what you mentioned earlier. Why were you at the building before you woke I... up here? Oh, because I used to work at Mission Publishing, which was here, inside Mission Garden Tower. Ah, Mashiro Publishing. For real? Wait, really? You weren't at some tiny small time publishing house? Is that really how you saw me? Yeah. yeah, it was just a bit hard to bring it up with Yuma being here. I see. I see, from her point of view, Yuma may as well be a little princess of a country. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember you. <laughs> That's another bullshit line. <laughs> that almost sounds like a threatening me. <laughs> Alright. Well, this place is real deal or not, guess we'll have to find. We may have passed by each other before, huh? It's possible. I use the Metro Plaza and Subway all the time. Oh. Subway? That's where the trains are, right? I want to go see them. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Let's check it out if there's a way to get down there. It didn't seem to be a subway, looking from the outside. Excuse me? Excuse me? We could suddenly raise a voice. We're not here to... We're not sure if this really is Hiroto's work old workplace yet, right? So we can stop wasting time and move on. We need Rico. to find the TV crew. Okay. What happened? Someone must have prepared that mechanism for the front door. That means the world hasn't ended. The crew must be hiding somewhere inside. Okay, what's the rules? You my doors in the back. They seem to be rusted closed. The doors hardly move, which you try to point them. You're just pounding on the doors. <laughs> Come on, I know this is just a lab at TV set. Hey, no, it's really cool. Let's stay calm. We don't want to bring this building down on top of us. Maybe this building is a set for a show, as you say, but there's no real way to bring it down around here. Now, now. No, me, no, if the world ended either. But we should still be careful when we go. What? Why are you so flustered? Huh? Why? How? Why wouldn't I be? Would you still be laughing if, if the world really ended? If our families, friends, loved ones were all gone, would you still act like nothing is wrong? I want to leave. I want to go home. I'm going to prove this is rea just a reality show. This moment I realise, Minko is the only one of us one of all of us who's been facing the harsh reality since the beginning. We subconsciously averted our eyes, but she alone has faced it head on, on the verge of breaking. Sorry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said those things based on speculation alone. Yeah. I'll get excited about getting more food, but you're right, we shouldn't forget we were kidnapped. I'm sorry. It's been a few days since we were brought here to this island. We may have been letting our guard down now that we're starting to get used to things. Oh no. I'm sorry, I should have had my act together. Don't cry. I hope you look for the TV crew too. So please don't cry, Rinko. Oh. Ah, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come down yeah. you all. Wait a no, there's no need for you to apologize. I'm sure all of us here just want to put an end to this stupid reality show and get back home, yes. just like you. Hoto. But... I have no hurry to go home, personally. <laughs> mm, I don't really care to, either. I am a bit worried about the farm, though. Wish I could have just outwardly agreed here, even if that felt... <laughs> even if they feel right. otherwise. Alright, I'll be over the door. I want to find out who's behind this game. What the fuck? Then it happens. Our eyes meet. 
But the space between the automatic doors, a giant eyeball stares directly at me. Rico! What? Why is I shout Rinko's feet float off the ground? She lets out a whimper and then a scream. It sounds several twigs snapping at once and Rinko's chest bulges unnaturally. That oh. fluid flows in her mouth and she lets out a groan. All I know is watch. I'm not able to move a single finger. Finally something bursts through her chest and it appears before me. The thing that I see as I'm covered in warm blood is a tentacle that looks like a band of white snakes. The tentacle withdraws from Miriam's body, she drops to the floor like a doll with cut strings. My immediate reaction is to put my arms under her for support, but I can't find her strength. I slump to the floor with her in my arms. You've got to be kidding me! Her face close to mine, I can. Really tell she is no longer breathing. Hey! Rinko, Uto, how could this happen? You both. It sounds like Miru is shouting behind me, judging by the sound of the voice. I'm in bad shape too. Tell the Imperial Rope guy pierced through my body as well. Ooh. <laughs> That's fucking awful, that is. I can't breathe with the blood in my throat. Rinko is covering is covered in my mouth blood, and I'm covering hers. <laughs> Is it a crew member for the show? That's no crew member! Run! Rinko! Haruto! We need to help them! Someone please help them! It's too late to save them. We'll have to leave them here. The voice seems to be getting further and further away. It's cold. So cold. What? It's like I've seen... Rinko... What the holy shit? <laughs> Splash? <laughs> what? Good morning. What's your name? This again? Me, Sajka, Haruto Higurashi. She smiles happily after hearing me reply. <laughs> we meet again, Haruto. Oh! This was the beginning of the game that put humanity's fate in the line. These are sins. The punishment, the reason we are left in this world. Jesus Christ. Christ. Still left unanswered. And that's the beginning, everyone! I'll probably save and leave after this, actually, because i got to do my dad's legs tonight. Middle age your man die. Yeah, because it's saying about middle age and such, so you must die. You must age quickly and die in this. Repeatedly. What do you say to that? <laughs> no, of course I do. Nope. 
Yep, that's it. It's weird if I space to exit. Strange controls. Yeah, let's watch this and then save. Hey kids, it's time for Extend TV. <laughs> it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Today we're going to teach you how to make a clone. That's what I'm talking about. Please take a look at the monitor. What the hell? Cloning. A dream mankind has been continually striving to make a reality. That dream can finally come true. Thanks to the invention of the Extend Machine. This poor woman has been crushed beneath some falling debris. But there, on the deceased stomach, is a product of human intellect and the origin of cloning. The X Key. Simply set it into the Extend Machine, and with enough score points, you can extend. A young girl exits the machine. The older woman is now reborn as her younger self from bygone days. To be reborn is to be young again. A smash hit with women everywhere. A nation of longevity begins with cloning technology. For adults, children, even grandma. This sort of humor just reminds me of uh, Fallout. It really does. An extend machine for every household. An extend machine to serve your country. The implications of this are disturbing. This is the miracle machine from God, known as the Extend Machine. The Extend Machine allows you to come back to life in a new body, even if you die. They come back in a child's body, right? How lame. Mature women are good in their own way. Some people just don't seem to understand. Uh. <laughs> oh, um... Sorry? I'm not gonna say anything. I need you to show me the stuff before we start talking business. Sure, but can you do your job as an assistant once in a while? Ta-da! This is the Extend Machine! Whoa! Is this really it? It almost looks just like a machine. It is a machine! Duh. Have you been listening at all? You can use the Extend Machine to create new clones and extend their lives. Now, why don't we try extending ourselves? Would you mind dying real quick, Show? Sounds kind of scary. <laughs> I am the assistant, after all. Bring it on! What the hell? M Mirai! How could this happen? Ah! No, now's not the time for crying. I need to clone Mirai. I could do it as long as I follow the script. I just need to believe in the me that believes in me. First, I'll set Mirai's X key into the extend machine. But do I have enough score points? Okay, good. Then I'll activate the machine. And now I wait. Come back, Mirai. We were just getting started. Wow. Do you know my name? Show. My dim-witted assistant. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again, Mirai. I'd love to knock the teeth out of that sheepish smile of yours right now. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the power of the Extend Machine. Thanks to the X key, you can always pass on your memories and experiences to your new body. Like how I remember being killed by Sho just now. Wait, but you haven't gotten any younger. Even though the lady in the commercial turned into a little girl. Of course. I was always a cute little lamb in the first place. <laughs> what the fuck? M Mirai! How could this happen? I'm wrapped up in a dusty towel after being freshly reborn, standing barefoot on the garage floor. My glasses are still wet after a rough wipe. I stir the palm of my hands as I move them around. Full, soft hands, thin arms with no muscle definition. I'm even shorter than Sachita now. Was I always this close to the ground? I reckon I have BC problems. Oh, sorry about that, Retro. You've missed a lot of interesting things just now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm the same as I was in first grade or so. Wow! 
Hey, you're so cute, Oto. You're even smaller than Sajiki now. No way. Just really, Oto? Maybe it's some other kid who wandered in. Uh, uh, guess my joke last night turned out to be true after all. No! Why is this arcade machine? So then, all that human clone talk is real? <laughs> oh, there, little boy. Your glasses are slipping down. Why does she have to say it like that? Really? Yeah, what happened is two main characters got killed and now we've just been brought back to life with the power of the extend machine. Unfortunately, it brings you back to the same age as you are as a little child. Which is quite disturbing. It all take turns looking at me, commenting in interest, questions and fear. Step back for a moment, everyone. I'd like to examine him for a bit. Especially when nearest down, he looks in the eyes and then it uses a to open his chest, back and stomach. His movements are careful and deliberate as he examines each section of the body. I feel an odd sensation of security as his big hands gently press against me. Are you good? So, how does he look, Doc? Well, what? I can see he's a normal, healthy young boy, disregarding the execute on his belly, that is. It's not like that! Not that I'm asking the kid really is hell so. I wonder. You know I can't answer that question. Without some way of conducting DNA tests, it's not possible to scientifically or medically identify him. Hmm. Besides, we don't have any records of Haruto's DNA in the first place. Damn it! Uh, I can't believe this. Everyone, what happened? Huh? Yeah, what happened? Oh? Huh? I'm talking about how patched my own voice is. Is this what I sounded like before puberty? Everyone stays quiet, waiting for the next words. I take a deep reflection. What happened to Rinko? Yeah, she got killed as well. We're both killed. Something impaled us through our chests and. Well, yeah, it is an arcade machine that can brings you back to life as well, and it's pretty disturbing. Oh, my chest is gone, but I can still feel the pain, the warm blood from that moment. But I came back to life, right? Then, is Rinko back too? <laughs> no, not yet. She's still in here. Is that? That's her X key. In the hands of the object known as the X key. Don't know if you remember this, but after Rinko was stabbed, she melted into a pile of white sand. In the pile, we found her clothes, shoes, and all her other stuff, including the X key. Oh, I remember that when she melted like that. Look, look at this horrifying image that you missed. Yeah, I remember, but just a little. Yeah. Your body also turned white as sand immediately after that. Your belongings to the X key for a little too. Me too. The monster was satisfied after killing you, seeing as it retreated to the back of the ruins. That's when we retrieved both your X keys and clothes, and returned back to Garage Island. We left the rest of your belongings there, though. There was a chance the monster was still around. Ah, oh, damn it, I collected all that good stuff. As soon as we returned, the Extend TV was on. That's when they told us how to revive someone, or rather, how to create human clones. Well. I was still a bit sceptical, but, well, here you are. Now that you know what happened, little boy. This is all so beyond normalcy, I almost... I feel almost detached, like it's happening to someone else. Well, we know I was able to come back to life, so why don't we do it for Rin Rinko, too? I know! Yeah! Oh, Rinko, why don't you try Extend Life Rinko? Extending? Extend her? What do you think? They said extending is like a one-up. Do you normally... do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, it's a gaming term, right? It means you get an extra life. Wow, this game is really meta. <laughs> really, really meta. But you don't really see life count systems being used in most modern games. Maybe in older shooting games found in arcades, if anything. Amazing! You sure know a lot? The cheeky just learnt about it earlier. Here! This is Vinkus Exki. Here you go, Haruto. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, what am I sp supposed to do with this? That's right. Use the extend key, extend machine behind you. That's where you came out of, remember? The extend machine, the giant arcade cabinet Rio and I talked about yesterday. There's one obvious difference since then, though. The arcade cabinet is powered on. The neon letters screen extend are lit up like the lights at the bar. Hmm. All right. Can you teach me how to use it? 
But first, I, I, oh no, no. But first, I, I, I have to put school clothes on now. Is that a t-shirt I can wear? Haruto, your wiener's showing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, you might have shocked me so much I forgot. <laughs> your wiener is showing, Haruto. Haruto's weenie. <laughs> Yeah, you stop saying it like that. Such an impertinent wiener. <laughs> Why will you remember this? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I understand, Hiroto. It's not even as big as my pinky. But it's okay. You're still only a child. Hey. I'm not hiding it because I'm worried about the size. Hey, can I just get my clothes back now? See? Wear your clothes just in case. But look, we yeah. have something even better. A children's uniform? Did you find that in the ruins? It must have been brand new since they're still in plastic bags. They even go in underwear well. and shoes. We haven't told you this yet, but there's a storage compartment under the extend machine, and we found a bunch of clothes in there. They also have name tags for us. How considerate. I'm sure they tailored our exact sizes too. At least it's a memorable wiener. <laughs> but it's still disturbing because, again, he's reduced to the child. Uh, name tags? Yeah! Yep, so she gets bag is in there too, isn't it cute? Yes, her bag was in there. <laughs> I don't remember her bag look like the Stenty cares. It must have been whoever made that cartoon show also prepared our clothes and other goods. It's a slightly disturbing thought, but biggest can't be choosers here. I'll wear these then, thanks. I put the clothes on, and then I'm taught how to use the extend machine. Even though I'm living proof myself, I still can't quite believe it's real. But I would soon realise this ridiculous machine is our only hope. And this machine is the punishment given unto us. Like they were saying, it's a punishment because they're going to have to like, continually relive this. Extend machine! The extend machine allows you to extend and create new clones. The score necessary to extend can be obtained by defeating organisms. Clones can be earn can also earn numerous shigabane, depending on the cause of death. Alright. Activating shigabane will grant resistances toward characters' various causes of death. <laughs> so it is kind of like a rogue life, but you just come back to life and you get stronger from whatever killed you. Interesting. To activate Shigabane, select Shigabane bonus, then extend when extending. Death will push you to newer heights. Try collecting as many Shigabanes as possible. Here's the map. We gone yet? Oh, let's have a look at the thing. Oh, never mind. There we go. Hmm. Go extend! Shigabane! Died as an adult. Adult life spanned by one day. Oh, adult life expanded by one day. Alright! New Shigabane. Death by an enemy for the first time. Died from an enemy attack. Attack and defense slightly increased. Ah, so they do get stronger and stronger as they go. That's interesting. There she is! She's alive again! Premature death and attack. But there's many on here, which is going to be quite interesting to unlock, to be honest. Well, this is going to be poor embarrassing for the poor girl. Wrinkle, is that you? 
A girl emerges from the extended machine. Her facial features resemble Vinko's. <laughs> Is this the garage? I thought we went to the other island. Rise and shine, Rinko! Are you hurting anywhere? Uh, good morning, Sachika. Sorry, did I fall asleep? <clears throat> Something's wrong with my voice. And why am I all wet? And naked? I'm naked? Wait, why am I tiny? Wh what's going on? Uh... Hey, you a such a Mind coming over here, sir? The girls of the group form a wall around Vinco look alike, blocking her from our view. We're gonna get her dressed, so you boys look away. Here, Vinco, use this drive. Oh, sure. Do it for the girl, but not for me. Hey, now. Including me? But I'm a doctor, I need to give a medical hey. examination. Wait just a minute. I'm not gi giving her any weird looks either. Nah. Mentally, she's still 25 years old. So don't even think about it, or I'll arrest you for voyeurism. No one better than I about seeing me naked. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. However. But she's physically a child. As an aspiring pediatrician, I examined many children during Tommy. <laughs> I hear he loves children and putting his body through intense physical abuse. <laughs> Christ's sake. What a, what a creep, he's the last person who should be around kids. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> Gentlemen, it seems I've died on my hill. I'll I leave the rest to you. <laughs> Out of being called a creep, the doctor turns away from us and then crouches down and hugs his knees. <laughs> Poor bastard. You know. It's like a sulking bodybuilder or something. That's not much of a metaphor. <laughs> But, uh, I'm a clone on the sin machine too? Because by expression filled with confusion and fear, she realizes what just happened. Other than the skirt, her clothes are basically the same as mine. The stitching on the pocket reads Manny. Maybe it's a uniform for some school? You got it? That seems to be the case. I hope to remember, so I'm sure you do too. How you died, that is. Oh, don't bring that up, guy! How I. Ugh. Get these forward, covering her mouth with her hands. She's gonna try heaving. Ugh. Look, there is saliva drips and dangles from her mouth. Since she literally just been born, there's probably nothing in her stomach to throw up. Remember, tenderly rubs her back and lies in agony, and no way to find relief. You? You always had one too many things to say, Zen. Look at her. She's just a little girl. No, no. But she's 25 on the inside. You even said so yourself. That's not an excuse! She was a sensitive 25 year old anyway, so... So, uh, 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 what are they... What they were saying on the TV is all true? Our bodies are cloned and I'm this machine on my belly? So, the world really is... Oh, here we go, TV time again! The St. Hum starts up again. The CRT powers once more and the screen displays a familiar grainy picture. Extend TV again. Don't tell me. It's just one earlier. I can't wait. That's for you guys. We cleared the mission. I wonder what's next. Hmm. Now they mention it, we did clear it. Our mission was to create fun. Little, but I mean, <laughs> you change the channel. Why is she calling him little brother? Ah, never mind. What? What? Why me? Right. Yeah, a little tan first. What kind of tan would that be? I grow all the whole way over, but reach for the TV channel dial anyway. It seems I've retained my old disposition, knowing that gives me an odd sense of belief. Jesus. Again, that's somewhat disturbing in some ways. Leo, child! I don't, I don't, I don't, child! Ah, ain't she adorable? And him! He's like a little depressed mini me! <laughs> Although I didn't wear glasses at a young age, actually, I only wore them when I was much older. But my eyes were fucked anyway, so. <laughs> hey! 
kids. It's time for Extend TV. Oh, boy. Now that you know how to use the Extend machine, what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? And fucking disturbing, yes. I'm surprised. I didn't know making clones was so easy. <laughs> just look how excited he is. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for clones, you know? Why are you talking about clones like they're your favorite food? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the point of doing all this survival stuff when we have the Extend Machine? If someone dies, we could just make a new clone again. Sadly, the Extend Machine isn't without faults. When you Extend, it spends the score points that are stored in the machine. But if you don't mm. have enough, you won't be able to make any clones. So that's why you need to survive and keep collecting more score points. It's just an endless cycle, basically, from the sound of it. Disturbing, amazing, it's a fine line. Pretty much. And like I said, these cartoons remind me of Fallout, the kind of dark humor that's with it. What? Really? And like I just said, it's a never ending circle. You have to collect points to resurrect yourself, but you will die and spend those points. So, how do we get more score points? Just put on black spandex suits and kill some aliens? <laughs> Gantz reference. <laughs> By defeating enemies. For those who don't know, Gantz is an anime series where people who die get brought back to life and they earn points by killing these alien creatures from another world. Unfortunately, you only get that one life. Unless you get, uh, I think it was 100 points. With 100 points, you can either res uh, free yourself from the whole fighting, mon fighting aliens and stuff, or bring someone back to life. But that means you reset all your points and you have to do it again. And the points are not static. For example, feed a goat for some goat meat and you'll earn a few score points in the process. As we've done. So you can't extend without score points and you need to survive to earn them, huh? Sounds like there's no end to this humanity restoration mission. Mm. This isn't gonna be easy. No, it's not. And the extend machine isn't complete yet. Oh, it's not done. It's not? Mm. And that brings us to our next mission. Obtain the machine's pants! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much Fallout like, yeah, like I said, with the whole humor and the whole. Oh, jolly, jolly, jolly. The ruins drifting across Earth's ocean. Mashiro Garden Tower. Have you guys been there yet? You should be able to find parts for the Extend Machine there. This time, your mission is to go and get those machine parts. And hopefully not get killed by a giant... pissed off looking eye that was living at us. Put those pants on the machine. It'll give the Extend Machine a boost. It'll give the Extend Machine boobs? <laughs> That's one of the crucial objectives of the Humanity Restoration Mission. To give machines boobs. <laughs> Boy, I sure am lucky to be born on Earth. I just want to get a knife and caught cutting myself, honestly. <laughs> Show looks so happy. It's almost like he's mistaking parts for pants. He is. Okay, everyone. Good luck finding those machine parts. If you die, you can just extend again. What's there to be afraid of? Again, just mentioned the limited amount of times you can do it. Extend TV is rooting for you. Remember, kids. Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye-bye. Great. <laughs> Lives eight. Great, we got any light, light lights for that. Right. <laughs> At least they have their priorities, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. 